everything you don't. <laughs> Including a burger? <laughs> The man's room's over there. Very funny. <laughs> Training for the track meet. I'm gonna break the school record. Oh, great. Now, will you sit down? Sitting is for the week. I need to run, run, run so I can win. Win. Winnie. <laughs> How would you like to take a little jog with me? In your dreams. You couldn't keep up with me if you had rockets in your Reebok. <laughs> Look at them. That brand is one lucky guy. He gets to sit next to Lauren on a big night. He's not going to be sitting next to Lauren, is he? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Check it out! The Relaxinator 3000! And where did it come from? Oh, it's here, honey. Who cares? <laughs> you know, my Uncle Frankie had one of these. He loved it so much that when he died, they buried him in it. <laughs> oh, my! It has pulsing heat action, <laughs> Magic fingers and a torso manipulator. Woo! Girl, if this chair had a steady job, I'd marry it. <laughs> I wonder who the chair's right for Lona is. Who cares? I do. Maybe we should ask around. Post flyers, hold a press conference. Then again, <laughs> find us keepers. All right, Winnie. Tell me what you feel when I turn on the body saga. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Yo, Brandon. <laughs> can I talk to you? Please. Before you stick my head to the toilet, can I put on some nose plugs? I always get water in my sinuses. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you a swirly. You're not? It's not my style. But everybody gives me a swirly. Listen, I got uh, two tickets to a Mozart concert on Sunday night. Sunday night? Yeah. Sorry. I already promised Lauren Fontaine I'd turn her pages for the recital that night. It's a very big responsibility. Yeah, I know. I, I couldn't possibly disappoint her. Well, if I did, it might upset her best friend, the beautiful and luscious Ashley Elliott. Hmm. Well, what would you say if uh, I could get you a date with the beautiful and Luscious Ashley Elliott. Oh, I'd say, what time's the concert? <laughs> Just race the dog back to the dorm. Well, which dog won? <laughs> you tell me. You look like you need some relaxation. Sit in the chair. Ah, oh, my chair, my chair. I need my chair. I spent all night in it, and today, I got a C minus on my English test. Oh. Bummer, you really blew it. Are you kidding me? It's the best grade I ever got. <laughs> this chair is magic. Oh, please. Is there anyone stupid enough to believe that sitting in a chair could bring you luck? <laughs> <sighs> so what are you gonna wish for in the magic chair? What I've wished for since I got to this school. The man of my dreams. Well, it's not a coincidence, because I, I just ran into a guy who thinks you're totally hot, and he wants to take you to a concert. It's just a chair. <laughs> oh, no. What's wrong? Brandon just canceled as my page turner. No. <laughs> Who are you going to get to replace him on such short notice? You did volunteer before. Me? Oh, I don't know, Lauren. You already turned me down once. I'm a sensitive guy. It's gonna take a lot for me to swallow my pride and help you out. Please? Okay. <laughs> Where's the chair? The girls have kidnapped it and are holding a hostage in their room. <laughs> So, how much do they want for it? More than you've got. <coughs> oh, Hugh. It seems Mr. Elliot has Mr. a little Dupre, problem with... having a $3,000 chair delivered to the wrong address is an enormous problem. We've come to ask if you've seen his chair so Mr. Elliot can get on with his life and stop driving me nuts. So, <laughs> Is there a reward? Doing the right thing should be reward enough. 
Haven't seen it. <laughs> Mr. Pray, do you hear a bzzz? Yes, I hear that bzzz. Sounds like the buzzing from my relaxator 3000. It won't fool me. When I open this door, I'm going to find my daughter brushing her teeth. There, there, father. I'm just practicing good oral hygiene. Yes, I can see that by your lack of plaque. <laughs> Mr. Elliot, perhaps you'd like to stay and you can floss as one big happy family. <laughs> kind of you to offer, but no, I'm off to hunt for my chair. Come, Miss Dupre. Oi. <laughs> Why did you turn the page? You told me to turn the page when you nod, and I did. That wasn't a nod, that was a bob. I was keeping time. <laughs> bob, nod, what's the difference? Jackson, a nod is a nod, and a bob is a bob. If you mistake a nod for a bob, I'll make it into the conservatory. <laughs> what did it mean when you did this? Well, it meant I had an itch. <laughs> <laughs> this is so complicated. I know. But everything has to be perfect. This piano stuff means a lot to you, doesn't it? It sure does. My grandmother taught me how to play on a beautiful baby grand when I was just a kid. It always had a wonderful bouquet of flowers on it. A piano like this one? Yeah. My grandmother always dreamed of me being a concert pianist, and I'm gonna do it. Seems like you put a ton of pressure on yourself. Well, you don't think I can handle it? No, I'm sure you can. In fact, for good luck, I'm going to buy you a bouquet of flowers for your piano. Oh, Jackson, that's so sweet. I could kiss you. You could? Yeah. But I don't have time. Gotta practice. Track meets tomorrow. I'm practicing my way for when I stand on the winner's podium. <laughs> you are one weird German. Check it out, all these great flowers you got for Lauren. You Ooh. went out in this terrible storm? <sighs> you could have caught a chill. It may be even pneumonia. You could have died. Then what would poor Lauren have done at the recital? <laughs> you are so selfish. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go in my room and think about what I've done. <laughs> hey, Miss Elliot, Mr. Prey, what a pleasure. Christian, quick, and stay with the air train. Don't have time for that, we have to hide the chair. <laughs> what are you doing standing outside? Come in, you don't need an invitation, make yourselves at home. I saw through your clever little ruse, Mr. Lazzarini. Ashley was brushing her teeth before lunch, not after it. That brushing was just to throw me off. Can't get anything by you, Mr. Elliot. Could that be the call to my chair? I demand you open the door. I can't let you go in there, sir. Move! Move in. This chair will soon be mine. <laughs> you know, Mr. Elliot, for a $3,000 chair, it doesn't look that comfortable. <laughs> <clears throat> Boy, Ashley's right. I think he's coming down with something. Where's the cough medicine? Try the cabinet. <clears throat> Ugh. You don't need that stuff. When I had a cough, my mother used to wrap a chicken around my neck and then rub my chest with garlic. <laughs> Did it work? Absolutely. Of course, the chicken wasn't very happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be careful with that stuff. It's strong. If I'm gonna get through the recital, I'm gonna need it. 